Iga Swiatek versus Arena Sabalenka is the women's final for the Madrid Open for 2023. And both ladies cruise through their semi-finals to get to this stage. Sabalenka started the tournament off as the number two seed. We get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she take on Castella, who had actually beaten her earlier in the year in Miami. But Sabalenka got her revenge, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 6-3. In the third round, she take on the wild card Osorio, who had had some solid wins to get to this stage. This was no problem for Sabalenka, getting through in straight sets, 6-4, 7-5. In the fourth round, she take on another wild card, the teen sensation on Draver, who had taken out Adaj Maya and Lynette to get to the stage. And after a close first set, experience showed and prevailed. Sabalenka winning 6-3, 6-1 to get to another Madrid quarterfinal. In the quarterfinals, Sabalenka would take on the unseated Sharif, who had been very impressive to get to the quarterfinals. And after dropping the first set, Sabalenka would have to fight back to win 2-6, 6-2, 6-1 to advance to the semifinals. In the semifinals, Sabalenka would take on the number nine seed, Zachary. She had never played on a clay court. And after a close first set, Sabalenka would run away with it. 6-4, 6-1 to advance to another Madrid final. Sviontek started the tournament off as the number one seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on the lucky loser, Grabber. But this was no problem for Sviontek. Getting through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. In the third round, she'd take on the number 28 seed, Pera. But again, this was no problem for Sviontek. Getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-2. In the fourth round, she'd take on the 16th seed, Alexandrova, who had taken out Zhang in the previous round. And this is where the battle started. With Fiontek being up a set and a break, but Alexandrova coming back to force a third. With Fiontek eventually winning in two and a half hours, 6 4, 6 7, 6 3, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Fiontek would take on the number 27 seed, Martic, who'd just beaten Krajikova along the way. But this was by far the best win for Fiontek so far, getting through in just over an hour, 6 love, 6 3, to advance to the semi finals. In the semi finals, Fiontek would take on the number 12 seed, Kunmatova, who'd just beaten Pagula in the previous round. But just like their last three meetings, this was no different. With Fiontek winning easily, 6-1, 6-1, to advance to her first Madrid final. These two ladies have played seven times before with the head-to-head -head lead to Fiontek 5-2, including their last match was actually two weeks ago in the Stuttgart final, with Fiontek getting the win. If Sabalenka's going to win this one, she's going to have to use the conditions to her advantage. We know this court is a little bit quicker than the average clay court. It's a little bit quicker than the Stuttgart court as well. So she's going to have to serve big, hit big, and try and be aggressive. If Fiontek's going to win this one, she needs to limit the errors. There were times in that Kudamatova match where she was under a little bit of pressure from Kudamatova, and we do know that it gets Alexandrova. Fiontek did have a struggle there with that power. This will be the most powerful opponent she plays for the entire week, so she's got to be prepared. This is such a fun matchup. It's been such a long time since we've got the number one and two in the world playing each other in consecutive finals, so I'm excited to see this again. I reckon Sabalenka might get a revenge here. I think she might win in three sets. I'm going with the upset. I reckon Sabalenka's going to get in three sets, get revenge. We might go to the French Open. Hopefully, we get round three on the clay over there, but let me know down in the comments below. Who do you think is going to win the final?